next problem comes from the Oxford University Mathematics Admissions Test, and it's actually pretty straightforward if you know the trick. The curve with the equation x to the 17 plus x cubed plus y to the 4 plus y to the 12 equals 2 has, and then we've been given four options here, basically asking us where the lines of symmetry are, or in particular, does it have lines of symmetry in the x-axis slash y-axis? Okay, let's answer this. What I'm going to do is just draw a random graph of a function that has symmetry in one of the axes. Let's go with the y-axis. So imagine I have a graph that let's say looks like this, something like that. that's supposed to be symmetric in the y-axis. Now, what does it really mean for it to be symmetric in the y-axis? Well, it means that if I take a point here, so let's just say that this graph has equation y equals f of x, then if I look at this point, let's say that that's minus one and this is three, then that means when I sub in minus one into the function, I get three as the output. But then by the symmetry, when I sub in one, I should also get three. And there's nothing special about minus one and one here. It should be true no matter what the x value is. So if it's symmetric around the y-axis, I need uh, f of x, whatever that is. So f of one, for example, is three, but that has to be the same as f of minus one. So f of x equals f of minus x for all x. In other words, in the equation, so let's say that this is y equals, I don't know, x to the four, minus x to the 4 plus x squared plus 3, uh, or something like this. It wouldn't, wouldn't exactly be that, maybe plus 2 or something. I, I don't know. Um, and this graph here, uh, when I swap the x's for minus x's, because when you raise a negative number to the power of 2, it's basically the same as raising the positive number to the power of 2. This is just the same thing. And so therefore, f of minus x is this, which is the same as the original function. And that's why this function here is symmetric in the y-axis. So broadly speaking, the idea is if you can swap the x's for negative x's and the equation remains the same, then the curve is symmetric in the y-axis. And the exact same is true if you want it to be symmetric in the x-axis. So if you want it to be symmetric in the x-axis, when you replace y with minus y, the equation must remain the same. So now I'm going to look at this and ask myself, well, let's replace y with minus y. And if I do that, minus y to the 4, minus y to the 12, everything else stays the same. And the beauty of this is because 4 and 12 are even numbers, both those things there will be the same as this. So minus y to the 4 is the same as y to the 4, and minus y to the 12 is the same as y to the 12. So the equation does stay the same, and so therefore there is symmetry in the x-axis. So I can get rid of those two options. But if I replace x with minus x, then this becomes minus x to the 17 and minus x cubed. And those are different to x cubed and x to the 17. And so it doesn't have symmetry in the y-axis, so the answer here is b.